Yo, what's up guys? Yes, I'm here in my ride. Yes, it's black and big. So I like this shit. It's uh, it's a loner. Yes, Optimus, uh, MC Hammer is in for a small repair, just a minor repair. But anyway, so yes, I did crash my car again in the snow. <laughs> but I want to announce, or I just let, let you guys know that I sold Optimus Prime. It was finally sold. So for you guys who are new in this channel, uh, Optimus Prime is my Tesla Model X, one of my former Tesla Model X. It's my X! <laughs> so I had it for about two and a half, no wait, almost three years before I sold it. I drove 216,000 kilometers, I think it was that, or 218,000 kilometers. A lot during the two years. Uh, so I announced it. First I announced, I mean, I tried to advertise it to sell it for uh, 600,000 Nook. And then it didn't sell. Okay, if you take Nook and divide it by 10, you, you get euros. Or you can use something called Google to find out what your currency is. So uh, anyway, um, but then people didn't want to buy it for 600,000 Nook. So I had to lower it to 560 and then lower and lower. And uh, then eventually I sold it for 520,000 Nook. Yeah, so it's about 52,000 euros. Uh, so all this time, um, Marcus Beal, they've been handling everything. I just delivered the car to them, you saw an early episode. And then they took care of, of taking photos, cleaning the car, just making sure everything looks okay. And uh, they also put up an ad on Finn.no, which is a marketplace in Norway. And every time uh, they change the price, they also just delete that ad and make a new one, because then they bring it up on top. Uh, so actually, <laughs> the car was sold when I was on vacation in Thailand. So they've been trying to get customers and you know, I don't want to deal with all that stuff. You know, I, I'm not good at dealing with people, you know? Yes. So that's why I leave it to the experts. And um, uh, so then, then suddenly they told me when I was in Thailand that, okay, the car is sold. 520,000. Of course, we had a little bit of communication in between, you know, when once uh, I figured out, okay, people don't want to buy it for that high price there. Mainly, mainly they are afraid of the high mileage. And uh, so I've also been getting some weird questions like, uh, does this one, does the car have 22 kilowatt onboard charger? Um, uh, no, uh, it's up to 16.5 kilowatt. And then some people ask me, <clears throat> there are some damages uh, in the front bumper. You know what happened? Well, not damages, there are some gaps. It's, yeah. <laughs> and apparently, um, many people who uh, look at the car, they didn't know what. Okay, first of all, they didn't know that this um, Optimus Prime. They didn't know who the seller was, and also they 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 thought it was too expensive because they didn't know what performance and ludicrous is. So, all right, whatever. Uh, seems like people who know about stuff about this, they are probably looking in a different market. They are not looking in uh, cars with 200,000 kilometers. So uh, it was apparently sold to a guy in Tromsø. So uh, they uh, loaded the car over there. I actually I told Mike, that I, I can drive the car there yeah, for free. Uh, but uh, they uh, shipped it yeah, with a fossil. So, um, of course, we'd have, if you have a Cybertruck, we can just haul it all, all the way over there. But I couldn't drive it there because I was on vacation. So otherwise, that would be a fun. That would be the last epic journey of Optimus Prime, yes. So, Trumsa, uh, there's a guy there. Apparently, he doesn't know me uh, at all. He don't, doesn't know who, who the heck I am, but... Um, yeah, so uh, he uh, he is an. Oh, why do I look so short? Huh? Let me just just this. Okay, that's better. I'm not that short, really. Yeah. Um, so um, once again, yeah. So he um, uh, the new owner. He never had an EV before. This is his very first EV. <laughs> so I never communicated with him before. I don't even know who he is. Uh, apparently, some of my. Uh, uh, followers up there, they know who that guy is. They've seen Optimus Prime there. There was a guy who sent me a, a photo. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So that uh, marks the end of the chapter of Optimus Prime. Yeah. So now I'm sitting in well, a loner, but uh, normally I'll be driving a Model 3. Yes. So for you guys who are not updated about what's going on with me, 
I live in Oslo now. I moved from Buda uh, three years ago. Yes, I also don't work at the university anymore, and I don't work at the statistics anymore. I don't know Nimber anymore. I'm married to wifey. Wow, well, okay, I'm married to Amre. <laughs> She's Thai. I'm also Thai. I was born in Thailand. My dad is Chinese. My mom is Thai. So I look like a Korean or Japanese guy. So yeah, there you go. There you have all my background information. So, um, about the money I received, so 520k, so I paid uh, paid some stuff, I, I owe people money, so I paid them finally, yes, I got them off my back, and then the plan is that I'm going to buy an EV, <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, okay, it's not ready yet, but you know, it's going to be awesome that ev okay so i will not reveal yet what it is but uh, you guys can probably guess right so you got okay what car is it what ev is it well uh, so it will uh, it will be interesting once i start uh, making videos about that one you know when you see i mean once i reveal it you're gonna be like that's it i knew it yeah or or some of you guys be like what? Ha? Huh? Really? I have no idea. Yeah, the noobs, but the true, the true believers, the true followers, they will really know. They will know exactly which EV it's <laughs> it is. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, and I, I think, yeah, you know what? The once I start uh, making videos with a new EV, I will most likely gain lots of new subscribers. So the the channel will just skyrocket in number of subscribers. So that's gonna be awesome and i think you know when people see the videos and they see the ev it's like it's like a guy from the future you know it's like a car from the future they'll be like whoa what the heck and then once they realize that they be like, ah, this is good shit man yeah you should have thought about this before mm, mm, what the heck yeah <laughs> so but anyway I, i'm gonna wait I, th I have i i have to wait a while before i can reveal what car it is but you guys can try to guess what car is it <laughs> oh, okay so um yeah. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Just a short video about what's going on because uh, the reason why I make this video is because so many people ask me, you know, hey, uh, what uh, what's up with Optimus Prime? Did you sell it yet? Uh, okay, okay. For, uh, last one, last thing. Okay, you you might be thinking, what the heck, Optimus Prime P ninety D Ludicrous uh, founders, you know, uh, sold for only fifty two thousand euros. I could have bought it from you, Bjorn. Yes, but if you would buy it from me and you live in uh, Spain or wherever you live, keep in mind that you have to pay for the, the import tax to your country. Because in Norway we don't have tax, but you have also have to pay for transportation to your whatever country it is. So most likely it's probably not a good deal. There's a, I don't know how many percent tax you have to pay uh, to import whatever uh, Tesla or EV to your country. So it's just, you know, don't look at just the price I sold it for to some dude in Norway. It doesn't work like that. But okay, that's it for now then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later. And what car, did, the, what car am I gonna buy? Please comment and I'm gonna have a good laugh now. <laughs> yeah, talk to you later.